Hello online tutors. In this video I just wanted to show you a couple of short tips and tricks in PowerPoint, uh, particularly in working with images. So you can see I have found a variety of images here and um, to get these images of course I went to insert online pictures and I did a search and I just want to point out a couple things. I have mine set for Creative Commons, and this is just a, a way to try to keep from violating copyright law. And um, even though we are probably okay under fair use, um, it's just a good habit to get into because once you set it this way, it stays this way. Um, so basically, it the default is it'll it'll just say license, and you can just change it to Creative Commons only. Um, and so then the second tip I want to give you is sometimes you insert things and they have a big white box around them like this one. Um, and there is an easy way to get rid of that and make it transparent in PowerPoint. Um, so you just go ahead and click on color. And, and by the way, sorry, let me go back a step. I have format automatically was chosen here when I selected that. So first select the picture, then you should see the picture tools format. And then you can pick color and you can choose set transparent color and then which portion you want to become transparent is the white portion so you click in the white area and then it becomes transparent so that's a really handy trick although it doesn't work as well for objects like this one that are that have a lot of white in them um, this one worked really nicely because it didn't have much white so you can experiment with that a little bit when you are searching on google um, there is similar options, um, not so much for transparency, but under settings, advanced search, there is a way if you scroll down here to usage right, rights, excuse me, um, free to use or share is basically going to give you um, some different options as you can see here. And when you choose different ones, sometimes you can see a little bit of a checkerboard background and, and you can tell that if it's, if it's got a transparent background, um, but it's very difficult to tell in this program. So going back into PowerPoint um, on an empty slide, I just wanted to show you um, under insert, there are some other useful things besides the online pictures. You can load your own pictures, of course, but the one that I end up using the most is SmartArt, and these are just a variety of different diagrams. So you can just skim through and this might be a graphic organizer that would be helpful to show your student something um, in a different way, show how things are related. Um, and, you know, sometimes you might even create um, one like this and then not fill it in, and then you'll be doing something in Collaborate where you're typing in these things. So these are just placeholders. There's really nothing there. Um, and when you go to do a, uh, actual presentation they will be empty like that so um, just so you know how that works sometimes these shapes might be useful as well so they just allow you to manually build things with different shapes and lines and you know that there are some things like this in collaborate as well not quite as extensive so you just have to decide what are the things that you want to be part of the background image and those are the things you'll do in PowerPoint um, and just because there's more choices you you're better off designing in PowerPoint as much as you can but anything you want to be interactive you need to do in collaborate and we'll discuss that in class